coming to you live from my treadmill desk. Today we're going to talk about red light therapy. I am the author of a book called Red Light Therapy Miracle Medicine, which is a six times international best-selling book. It's number one on Amazon right now in multiple categories. And based on that book, I put together a little presentation today called Introduction to Red Light Therapy. So let's get into it. In 2002, a study by Dr. Gary Knoll, Dr. Carolyn Dean, and their team of scientists looked at all existing studies on doctor-induced injury and death. After reviewing all the research, their conclusion that they came to was this. Modern medicine is the number one cause of death. Number one beyond any other cause of death, the pills and surgeries that your doctor will offer you when you go to him with any kind of illness kills more people than any other way that you can die. Based on this, we can conclude that there's almost nothing your doctor can do that won't make your health worse. So what's the point of going to them? I know a lot of people will still go back regardless of this information, but I know there's also a lot of people out there who see that and they say, hey, I don't want to go to my doctor anymore. I want an alternative. What is the alternative? So that's for, it's for those people that I make these presentations, this one right now, and all the work that I do now and into the future. People that want to take control of their lives and want alternatives. And it's funny how it's called alternative medicine when since the beginning of time, medicine has always been plant and animal foods. And it wasn't until after World War II when modern medicine as we know it, the pill and surgical procedures took over. So it's actually a relatively recent experiment and this should be the, called the alternative because it doesn't work. And uh, I mean, that isn't to say that there aren't some surgeries and some drugs that are good that come from the pharmaceutical industries. But I think by and large, the evidence is clear that these things are doing far more harm than good. So what are we going to do about it? That's the question. What if there was a form of therapy that could correct the root cause of virtually all diseases and conditions known to man? What if that same therapy was also inexpensive and had literally no negative side effects? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that this therapy does exist. It's called red light therapy. To date, there have been over 50,000 published studies on the subject, and not one reports a single negative side effect. In addition to that, there have been literally also dozens of diseases and conditions which we'll get into that have been shown to benefit from red light. This here is a prism, and uh, I've actually got one here. I found one when I was a kid. I had a prism, and uh, I asked my sister if she had it, and she did. Had it in storage. So, a triangular prism. When you shine light into it, as you can see in the photo, it will fractionate the light into all of its color components, of, of, of which it is comprised. So. Sunlight's a good example because not all light bulbs have the entire spectrum of colors within it, especially compact fluorescence. It's almost all blue light, which actually has the opposite effect of red light, which is why a lot of people complain of side effects from exposure to compact fluorescent radiation. Now, um, that's another subject though, but what we're saying here is that if you shine sunlight into a prism, it is comprised of literally every color of the rainbow. So as you can see on the photo, red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And so it's that red portion, just that specific 600 to 700 nanometer wavelength of radiation that we're concerned with. <clears throat> and that's the actual wavelength that has medicinal properties. I mean, all the other colors do have certain effects as well. Like I said, blue light has the opposite of red, so that's a negative effect. And the beauty with red light therapy is you can isolate the red, the, the portion that is medicinal and that boosts metabolism. Speaking of boosting metabolism, now that you know what a red light is, let's go over a little bit about how it works. So what you're seeing here is a microscopic image of two tiny organelles which are inside every cell. There are differing amounts of them in your cells. Generally, after 
a good dose of healthy exercise, the amount of mitochondria will multiply, but these are two mitochondria. And what they are are tiny organelles within cells. These are the things that are responsible for energy production within cells. And I know the pharmaceutical industry, to date, I think there's over 30,000 officially characterized, officially labeled diseases, which means if you have a certain set of symptoms, they match that up and they call that a disease. In reality, there's only one disease. Either your cells are functioning or they're not. Of course, the pharmaceutical industry wants you to think there are 30,000 plus because for every official disease, they can create a new product. So the beautiful and amazing truth is that there is only one disease. And that is that if a cell can produce energy correctly or efficiently and sufficiently for its functions, for all of its vital functions, that cell is healthy. And if you think of your body as a collection of cells, which it is, then if the majority of your cells are producing energy efficiently, then you are, as a human being, healthy. And any animal and other species as well, it's the same thing. And they actually have very similar processes, even plants. So how does red light interact with these mitochondria? Well, there's an enzyme. Essentially, the production of energy within these mitochondria rely on a series of chemical reactions involving enzymes. And it just so happens that a certain enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase absorbs light in the red end of the spectrum, as well as near infrared. These two are very similar and act similarly on cells. And that is through the absorption by cytochrome C oxidase. And when that enzyme is charged with red and near infrared light or radiation, it upregulates the production of energy. And so not surprisingly, it is correcting the root cause of all disease and conditions, and therefore, it's, it wouldn't be surprising, it should not be surprising to hear that there have been literally dozens of diseases and conditions evidenced in scientific research shown to benefit from red light. Achilles tendonitis, Achilles tendinopathy, acne, addiction, amblyopia, age-related macular degeneration, Alzheimer's disease, aphthous ulcers, Bell's palsy, bone fractures, burn scars, burning mouth syndrome, carpal tunnel syndrome, cellulite, chronic joint disorders, cognitive enhancement, cold sores, also known as herpes labialis, COPD, dental implant stability, dentine hypersensitivity, that's uh, your teeth, <laughs> tooth sensitivity, it has been shown to reduce that, depression, diabetic foot ulcer, dry mouth, dysmenorrhea, elbow tendinopathy, exercise performance and recovery. And that is an interesting one. Now that we're there, I want to stop on that one for a second because it's incredible what it can do. Let me say this. If there are any professional athletes in this world who are not using red light to enhance their performance, they are missing out big time and their potential is much greater than what you see. Um, red light has been shown to increase strength so you, you apply red light to your muscles before an exercise and it's been shown to increase strength increase endurance increase muscle recovery it's also been shown to increase muscle bulk so there was a study where they shone red light on muscles before an exercise in one group of people and the other group didn't get the red light they did the same exercise and the ones that got the red light were shown to build 50 percent more muscle Unbelievable. Another study showed that shining red light on your body tissues before an exercise reduces your risk of injury. So incredible what it can do for exercise performance and recovery for athletes. Hair loss. Also uh, other alopecia. conditions have been shown, shown to treat fibromyalgia to be able to regenerate shoulder, hair. Glaucoma. So basically your hair follicles are not producing hair. The red light increases the energy of those hair follicles and thus improves its overall function and all of a sudden your follicles are able to produce hair again. Hand, foot and mouth disease, hypothyroidism, lichen planus, low back pain, lymphedema, maxillary sinusitis, meniscal pathology, muscle growth, muscle pain, neck pain, neuropathic foot ulcer, nipple pain from breastfeeding, obesity, oral mucositis, 
orthodontic pain, orthodontic tooth movement, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis or bone loss, pain in general, periodontitis, which is gum disease, post-therpetic neuralgia, pressure ulcer, radiation dermatitis, Raynaud's phenomenon, restenosis, rheumatoid arthritis, shoulder tendinopathy, skin aging, sternotomy, incision repair, stroke, sunburn prevention. So you shine it on your skin before you go in the sun and it actually prevents the sunburn from happening. It acts like a natural sunblock. Incredible. Temporomandibular disorders, which is your TMJ, that's your jaw muscle, that joint. Sometimes people get pain or lack of mobility in there, so that red light's been shown to help that. Tendinopathy, testosterone deficiency, that's a good one to uh, break down a little bit. They shone red light on rat testicles and in one study and found that it increased their testosterone 300%. Amazing. Interesting, though. Um, there are a few tissues inside the body, testicles being one of them. I think the brain is the other, perhaps the only other, but perhaps not. But at least those two tissues are actually heat sensitive. So if you're going to treat your testicles for all the men out there and you want to increase your testosterone, keep the light a little bit away and ensure that it doesn't um, heat up the tissues because then it can actually have the opposite effect. So that's one of the reasons why tidy whitey underwears is not a good, it's not a good idea because it holds the testicles against the body rather than having them away from the body and that will increase the temperature and thus decrease testosterone. Anyways, toenail fungus traumatic brain injury has been shown to benefit from red light. Venous leg ulcers, vitiligo and wound healing. Interestingly, so wound healing. So red light is an overall healing accelerant, non-tissue specific. So that means no matter where you shine it, if you have injured tissues, it'll help them heal. So based on that as well, it's not hard to see how there's probably literally no disease or condition that cannot benefit from red light. And so this list I gathered from the scientific research. Here's a few testimonials. People have emailed me since I wrote the book. Uh, telling me about what their experiences with red light and what they have benefited from. So Al Gray wrote in, I was thinking of writing to you and reporting what to me was an amazing experience with the light. I have used it on my hernia and the hernia is shrinking. I thought that was interesting. There's no way of verifying for sure that it was the red light that did that because that's pretty amazing. Basically your intestine is pushing out through your groin. So it's like bubbling out amazing if red light actually can contribute to putting that back in without surgery because that's the normal treatment for it and that surgery is pretty traumatic you're, you're cutting the body so if you can avoid any kind of invasive trauma to the body that a surge that a scalpel will cause and just treat with red light that's incredible so if you have that is that issue it's worth looking into and trying because we have one testimonial here of someone who has healed and shrank a hernia with red light. Next, Kaya wrote in said, I am recommending this to so many people as the results are so good. My eyes are healing almost perfectly. They were 4.5 in prescription and yesterday I went to the optometrist and one eye is now perfect 2020 and the other is close behind. So that is incredible. So in the last list on the previous slide, all of those um, conditions that have been shown to be treated with red light in the scientific literature, there was, there have been studies on age-related macular degeneration here. So that's in elderly people. <clears throat> and basically their visual acuity has degenerated with age. And it has been shown to increase visual acuity in people like that, in elderly. But never have I seen any evidence until now with this testimonial that red light, even in young people, can improve your visual acuity. I can tell you for sure, optometrists... Do not want people to know that one. Um, but that's amazing. Her eyes were 4.5 out of 20. So that's a pretty solid prescription. And then in just a matter, just a few treatments over a couple of weeks, one eye is back to 2020. And one eye is 1520. So as you can see, even the eye cells benefit from it. A lot of people actually ask if they need eye protection when they use red light therapy because it's pretty bright. And a lot of people are concerned to that. Uh, but in reality, you don't. If it's too bright and it's uncomfortable, sure. But if you can bear the brightness of it, 
your eyes are going to benefit from it, including increased visual acuity as we've seen here. Maybe you'll get the same benefits as her. Anyway, I'll finish her quote here. My optometrist is super perplexed and I laugh so hard. She says eyes like mine aren't supposed to correct like that. Amazing. Next one. I just want to say thank you, Mark. I've had shoulder pain for years. I went to numerous doctors, therapists, healers. I even went to a shaman. And no one can explain why I lived in quiet agony. Oh, no one can explain why she had the pain and she, as a result, lived in quiet agony for years. Today marks the third day I'm using the light device purchased from your web store and I'm already feeling a lot better. Full of vitality and good vibes. I even went rock climbing yesterday. Thank you so, so, so much. Blessings to you. So she's had pain for years like that and unable to, you know, it's definitely held back the way she can live. And all of a sudden she, the pain's gone and she can go rock climbing. That's incredible. I feel just like that alone made the effort in writing my book worthwhile and in making this presentation too. So if she got that kind of benefit, I know there's a lot of people with pain in this world. I hope it can benefit you too. So here's my book that I wrote, the six times international bestseller. It's in Kindle format as well as a paperback. I actually got the paperback here. It is. Ah, it's a beautiful book. There it is. <clears throat> Red light therapy, miracle medicine. So here are a few quotes on the screen. I'm going to read just from people who have read it and reviewed it. And enjoyed what they read. Ray Ray Giebauer wrote in and said, fantastic book. I've been using lasers and red light therapeutically for 20 years with excellent results. This is the best book I've found on the benefits of red light. Easy to understand, it's complete and compelling, and just might save your life. Sean Russell wrote, well written, informative. Red light therapy is explained in a way that is easy to understand, but backed up by scientific evidence and testimonials. Brent wrote, this is an amazing book. I like the book in the way that the author explains how red light therapy works and that there are very workable, less costly options to get most likely similar or better results. Buy the book and implement for many of the medical challenge that we all face. Challenges. <clears throat> uh, you can also try out some of our handheld body light and body light mini devices that we have in our online store. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below, or you can go to endalldisease.com slash store, and I have our three models there. All three of our red light models include all four of the most efficient wavelengths of red and near-infrared light. So that's 620 nanometers, 670 nanometers, 760 nanometers, and 830 nanometers. So two of those are half of the LEDs on the machines. The devices are red, in the red end of the spectrum and half are in the near infrared and all four have been shown in research to be the most efficiently absorbed by the cytochrome c oxidase enzyme so this is the ultimate configuration <clears throat> so if you're looking to try red light therapy i highly recommend you check that out and of course in future episodes i, I guess i should say these are my three books red light therapy miracle medicine um the cancer industry Crimes, Conspiracy, and the Death of My Mother, and Cancer, The Metabolic Disease Unraveled. All three of these are international best-selling books. Um, so in future episodes, I'm going to actually break down, I'm going to do many more uh, episodes and presentations on red light therapy. Every uh, important concept from the books, from all three of these books, I'm going to make presentations on. So I highly recommend you buy the books, but if not, subscribe, hit like, and then you'll get more videos on these subjects in the future and you'll get lots and lots of great information so check them out read them if not we'll see you in future episodes thanks for watching